Medical humanities articles are one of the best ways to express complex emotional and psychological ideas through academic writing. Medical humanities articles include a broad variety of articles such as personal essays, fiction, poetry, music, and visual art. They can also include the academic discussion of these things through things like critical review, historical analysis, and even original research. But you might be wondering where to publish medical humanities articles. This video will discuss three different places you can publish medical humanities articles. The first place you should consider publishing your medical humanities articles are in general medical journals or specialty medical journals. These are general medical journals that typically publish clinical articles and are geared towards a clinical audience. So they often publish original research, clinical review articles, and case reports. However, many of these journals also contain specific departments for medical humanities work. They may want things like narrative essays, poetry, music, or even visual art. Think about journals like JAMA, the Journal of the AMA, or JAPA, the Journal of the AAPA. Both of these are geared towards a clinical audience, but both of them have specific departments for the medical humanities. Keep in mind you might have to look through these journals closely and read them in their entirety to find the departments and the specific places that these general medical journals will publish humanities work. Most of the time you can look in the journal's author guidelines to see the different types of articles that a journal publishes. Another benefit of publishing humanities work in these general medical journals is that they have a lot of academic merit and academic reputation elevating your work in the eyes of the academy, universities, or other institutions that are concerned with academic work. Another place you might consider publishing your work is in dedicated medical humanities journals. These are journals that are entirely dedicated to the medical humanities and don't feature other types of articles. Don't worry, these journals might still have a broad variety of articles, including fiction and nonfiction prose, poetry, visual art, music, and other types of media. Many of these journals also feature discussions of the medical humanities, so they may include discussions of ethics around the medical humanities, historical perspectives, analysis of work in the medical humanities, and even original research applying the medical humanities to the clinical world. Some of these journals are more dedicated to the academic side, while other journals might be more dedicated to the artistic side. Many journals also combine these two worlds and feature them in roughly equal proportion. Make sure you read the journal and really understand the type of work that that journal publishes before you go through the trouble of submitting. Keep in mind that these dedicated medical humanities journals still have a lot of academic merit and are great places to put your medical humanities work. The third place you might consider publishing your medical humanities work are in literary journals. These are journals that are entirely dedicated to literature in its highest form. Most of these journals are going to be focused on prose and not necessarily interested in the academic side of medical humanities. Keep in mind that these journals are highly selective and have thousands of submissions every year, meaning their acceptance rate is very low. Make sure you approach these journals with tempered expectations and prepare yourself for a lot of rejections before you get an acceptance. Many writers go their entire careers without successfully publishing in literary journals, so don't get discouraged if you're rejected from these journals. Many of these journals limit the amount of time they're open to submissions and have lengthy review processes, which can be very frustrating if you're looking for a quick turnaround on a decision. Keep this in mind when you're submitting to these journals and have patience through the process. Make sure you read a literary journal to see if your writing is the type of thing that they publish before you go through the time and cost of submitting to it. So there you have it. The three places you can publish your medical humanities works are general medical journals, medical humanities journals, and literary journals. Make sure you explore all of your options before you decide where you should publish your work. If you're interested in medical humanities writing, I wrote an entire article about this topic at harrisonreadwriting.com. I'll put a link to that in the video description. You can also find writing advice on other article types at harrisonreadwriting.com and in the other videos that I have on my channel. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like, subscribe, and share it with other people so that everyone can find this type of writing advice. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your writing.